Right, now we're going to do the inside of a room for an inside scene. So this starts the exact same way as our outdoor scene did. We're going to find our horizon line, which is can be high, can be low, but just for this exercise, let's do it kind of in the middle, a little bit lower than middle. And then I'm going to do my vanishing point. You can do it anywhere you want, but for this exercise, let's put it in the middle just for now. Start in the middle, the most basic. Okay. The next step that we're going to do is create the back wall of our room. So this is an extra step that we didn't have when we were doing the outside scenes because we weren't in a room. But this one, we need this, uh, this back side wall so we can have something to stop our field of vision. All right, we're going to make a smallish rectangle or here. And you'll notice that I'm making my lines kind of light and messy so I can go back over them when I feel confident that what I created was correct. So that's going to be the back wall of my house. Next step I'm going to do is line up this vanishing point with the corners of my room. So here's the corner of the top wall. Line up each of these four corners with the vanishing point and take them all the way off the paper. Alright, great. Next step I have is to erase everything so that all I can see is the inside of my room, my vanishing point, and erase the lines I don't need. So I don't need these construction lines. can go away. So can this construction line. And then I probably can't see through my walls, so I'm going to go ahead and erase my horizon line on either side here. And I'm going to leave it on the back wall just so that I remember where it is if I need it later. But I can always erase it later. So now we have the inside of our room. And right now it doesn't look too three-dimensional, but it's going to look more 3D as we add some stuff into it. So our next step is to start with our surface facing the viewer. So let's make a... Um, a bed, okay? So the end of a bed is the shape of a rectangle. So all I'm going to do now is make my bed, and I kind of want it to be over here in the corner. So I'm actually going to use my ruler to trace around for this so I get... There's my rectangle. That's the end of my bed. Now just like we did when we were doing the outside scene, you're going to connect these points to the vanishing point and do light construction lines. Oops. Okay. So now I've got my bed going back into space and now I need to find the edges. I want the end of my bed to be here of a long bed in a big room and I'm making darker all of the lines around it that are part of the bed. I'm going to go ahead and erase the edges of my room because I wouldn't be able to actually see these through my bed. Erase the construction lines I don't need. All right can see my bed a little bit bigger here. Okay, actually this is way bigger than I want it to be. That looks really long. So I'm going to cut it off a bit closer here. And then this line that I make needs to be parallel with the end of my bed. Just like this line was parallel here, this one needs to be parallel as well. So I'm going to do my trick, line up my ruler with the end that it needs to be parallel with, and make my line. All right. Let's go ahead and finish erasing all this stuff.
All right, now I've got my bed going back into space, and now it's time if I want to add anything like maybe a headboard, I could do that, or maybe my pillows. And maybe I want a blanket draping off the end. It's up to you to decide how you want to make your bed look. And all right, let's do a couch now. So I'm gonna start with a shape that looks like the end of a couch. So my couch is gonna be sitting in the room looking at the bed. So I'm gonna make kind of like, this is the back of the bed and the side. So I'm just gonna make my shape. Kind of like a fat bubble letter L. And I don't need to see through my couch, so I'm gonna erase that line, that's not helping me. All right, this couch has a lot of points on it. It has one, two, three, four, five, six points on it. Now I know just by looking at this that this point is in the back of the couch. So I'm not gonna see this one when it's running behind the couch. I don't need to connect this one to the vanishing point. I do need to connect this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So let's do those. We've got five to do here. All right, let's finish off our couch. So the first thing we need to do is find the, the end of our couch. So I'm gonna say it's gonna go here, but it needs to match the same shape that we have here. It needs to be parallel. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the same shape into the back of my couch, or at least close enough. So now I can go over all of my edges and I just lined up the points where the couch was changing with the guidelines that I made for myself. So where the couch was dipping in, I aligned it with the line that was coming from the dip in the couch. When it was coming out, I aligned it with the line that was coming from co the coming out part of the couch. So now I can go through and erase any of the lines I don't need. I don't really need these, I'll be honest. I just need to show where the edge of my couch is. Do I need that line? Eh, maybe. And then all these construction lines are not important. So you'll notice that when you're doing one point perspective, you're doing a lot of erasing. So make sure that you're drawing light lines so they're easy to erase. Awesome, all right, we've got a couch, we've got a, a bed, and now we're gonna do a picture or a window on the wall. So we've done a regular shaped like rectangle, we've done an irregular shaped object, and now we're gonna do this window shape. So just like we did with the windows on the outside of the, the building outside, we're gonna find the top and bottom of our window, and this line is parallel with the side of the paper. This is straight up and down, because that's an edge. It's not w wiggly wobbly, straight up and down. Find the edges of my paper. All right, I found the top and bottom and the side. Now I need to find the back. So I'm gonna line this ruler up either with the edge of the picture or I could do the edge of my wall back there. They should be the same. I'm gonna do the picture and then I pull it back. There we go. I now have my window or my picture on the wall. Be careful though, if I'm gonna do my X, I don't wanna put my, that looks awkward, right? So even if I do a line that goes um, through the middle of my window, I need to make sure I follow towards the vanishing point so it looks like it's going back in space. If I'm not careful with my line and I actually make the edge of my window like this, I'm gonna end up with a window that looks pretty awkward. So make sure that your lines are straight up and down. 
and that your lines that are going this way are going towards the vanishing point at all times, okay? So great job, guys. You've now done your inside and your outside views and finish this up, and I can't wait to see it.